morning. Um, it's uh, June 14th. It's been um, about 10 days, I think. Almost 10 days since I did my last video update. So I thought I'd do a quick one right quick um, before it gets too hot. Uh, we'll start with the lettuce. These are the lettuce that I um, sprouted in the uh, little grow cylinders. You can still see part of a grow cylinder right here. Um, and they're they're growing pretty good. Here's somebody walking around out there. This one looks probably the biggest. Um, I hate the way lettuce flops over those. It's little. Um, got my marigolds. These are the dwarf. I wish I'd bought the regular variety, but they got the little flowers. It's a dwarf variety. And I got some yellow ones down on the ground. Uh, just different things. These are some little bunching onions. I thought I'd try. And then the bell pepper. And there. Cherry tomatoes and snapdragons down at the end. Let's see if I can zoom. Down at the end there. And one more cherry tomato I've got stuck in that pot. Uh, my daylilies have bloomed, so I've cut them back. Um, I probably did it wrong, but who knows. These, these were uh, flowers stuff. I don't even know if I could save them now. These little idiot kittens have uh, climbed in here at nights and messed it up. But this here is part of the uh, tomato that... Um, this was probably my better looking one um, that broke off and they are, look at their roots. So I'm going to plant that out somewhere today, try to, and uh, they just broke off and like this one didn't really take, it has no roots. It's got one tiny little root there, but uh, that one was starting to, I may stick them back in there and see if they'll do anything if I keep them wet. Um, but yeah, this one did great. And I grew this from a cutting of a tomato plant, so it's possible. And um, we'll get it done in the ground soon. Um, these were seed cylinders. My lettuce is spared because it was in a strawberry bucket. But I'm going to try to save these, put them in a pot. Uh, these little idiot kittens, man, they destroy everything. Um, my daughter has strung out my twine. I'm, I'm just having a rough time with the kids and the kittens. Pole beans and um, pumpkins on the porch for greenery. And the aster is looking great. Um, it's uh, it's grown a lot. Grew this from seed. Um, let's get down here. Uh, my daughter said this looks stupid. But I moved my plants from the steps because the kittens... We're going up and down the steps and they were getting and messing them up so i put them out here and i put this trellis because my uh so there's a little morning glory i missed it i didn't get up in time today um but i thought if it fills it up i've got my moon plant going up the center and i've got my morning glories see right here man these kittens and these cats are about to get on my last nerve gosh they just sit down here and chew on my stuff. And I've tried forks and things to keep them off. And man, look, right here's one of the little buggers right now. They look all sweet and innocent. Man, I'll be glad when they find homes. Oh, that's a creepy looking bug. Oh, let's knock it off. Ugh. Um, anyways, but I thought if it would green up, it'd be pretty. We'll see. But at least a moon plant should work up the trellis. And I got some twine, so I'm hoping as it grows, it'll kind of make a thing. Um, like a fan out. But I put my mosquito plant, my impatience, because they were just destroying everything. And I think that these needed more sun. So I moved them out here, and they look better already. The herbs. Um, oh, I just knocked over some wood. These are flowers. I don't know if you can see right there that I planted last week. Let's see. Down there. But I got sprouts all in there. This is the end of the trailer. Somebody's not the shovel. The pitchfork. 
down. But uh, these will be growing. I got to do a video with those. Four o'clocks are looking good. Sunflowers look great. I got my pole beans. Um, got some more flowers coming up. That's good. I've picked off a few. I had some really big ones I was going to pick off and do a video. Look at their granddaddy long legs. Get you back up there. Um, but uh, my daughter, they ate all my big pole beans. So it kind of made me mad, but I'm glad that they like fresh veggies like that. But, you know, these are pretty good. The other ones I had were about three times the size. And I picked a good handful of them yesterday. And I've got them in a little bowl in the refrigerator to keep them crisp. Got more flowers coming in there since I've picked off the pole beans. Um, my little watering system does great. Keeps a steady drip of water going in there. Black cherry tomatoes. This is that one that I broke off on accident. i got to put some more water in this water dripper. But look at there. These have uh, turning. They're starting to turn. They're still a little green, so got to do that. Let them green up. Oh, look at that. We don't want him on there. He'll eat my plant. Woo! About got me. We don't want him up there at all. He'll eat every bit of my plant. A little caterpillar. Uh, what is this? It's a kind of little spider. I don't like these buggies. Um, these are the little experiment hanging down. Uh, they look pretty good. I don't know if they'll put out any fruit. But, uh, you can see the roots have made their way up to the top. And they've got a good root system down here. And um, I just take it and I'm hoping they'll kind of wrap around that. If they don't put fruit, I will. It's a good experiment. Got my uh, garden bean here. Got one coming up right there. These are a Cherokee wax. Uh, they look like that. I went ahead and bought me some labels. But... Uh, I've got these planted in here. I'm hoping they'll do pretty good. Um, we'll see. That's where my carrots were. Uh, got some uh, pimento peppers on here. Let's see if I can find one. Look at there. My first peppers. Um, I got a couple. I got another one right in here. That looks pretty good. Uh, the radishes looking good. Um, got three buckets of those. Got some more banana peppers and stuff that need to go in the ground. They're somewhere. And this one that I broke off, I only had just this one leaf. And it's coming back nicely. Radishes and peppers. Uh, bachelor buttons are growing. And I've got a little pepper, a little decorative mushroom we got on clearance. Got little garden gnomes in the pots. Hello. That's my daughter Serena's garden gnome and her sunflower. She's growing in a pot. Uh, you can see these are flowering. Uh, actually, this watermelon, it might hang in there and do something. Who knows? Um, my bell peppers. I took a uh, trash can. I got this from Nani. Uh, thanks, Aunt Nani. And I cut it in half. This one's... Uh, empty on the bottom so I can't move it but I can move this one if I want to and what I've got here just a drip container let's see me back up a little drip and as it gets hot it'll put this water down in this cup and I got a hole in my cup and it keeps just a steady flow of water going to my vegetables I got this in all these right here in these pots just trying to help them out a little bit um, in this heat, but the bell peppers, since I put them in there, are really doing not really, really good. So, uh, got the uh, trumpet of death, the uh, yellow trumpet, angel trumpet, um, sweet cherry 100s. Um, these are radishes. Um, I can't remember the variety. My daughter's picked them out. I can if I look at the picture, though. Um, got a little garden gnome holding a little bird little mushrooms decorate but they planted these last week and um, we followed the spacing how we were supposed to and so we'll see I get some little garden radishes and these little things um I like these little things as planters 
This time, I, instead of using newspaper, I used the plastic from my soil bags and poked holes. Because um, I read that, that radish is kind of like, you know, kind of a damp soil. So, that's a very pretty flower. This is my geraniums. This is the salmon. This is a white with like a pink fade coming out of it. This is a white. And then I've got my beautiful red back there. Agastaki. I've gotten lots of Agastaki seeds. So, if you would like to try to grow some Agastaki, um, just uh, let me know and I'll try to send you some.